Hi, Damon's TV. Lee Allen Baker here. Be sure to tune in to Good Luck Charlie. It's Christmas. You'll love it. So are you as funny in real life as you are on TV? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my kid thinks so. Um, what's it like to be doing a holiday film for, for Disney Channel? I mean, the, we've seen the Duncan's through so much, but now, you know, we've got a movie. I was thrilled to be doing a holiday movie. i got to confess, I know a lot of actors picture themselves winning Academy Awards, and I really just wanted to do a Christmas movie, because it's the kind of movie that I really love to watch. I'm a sucker for the holidays. I love to get in a happy, hyper spirit of it all, and um, I was thrilled to be doing this. Nice, nice. Um, uh, what kind of, uh, what's been your most memorable fan encounter? I can imagine you must have a lot of kids coming up and saying, you're the, like the coolest mom, or I wish my mom I wish you were my mom. <laughs> um, and then their mom's saying, I wish she was too. <laughs> 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 um, there, I have so many cool fan encounters. What really surprises me the most is how many adults come up to me and are so genuinely um, thankful for making them laugh. I've had mothers and fathers alike come up to me and say, you've given our family so much joy and so many laughs. And, um, you know, what's better than that? And it, I think it's good. You're right. I'm like, I know I'm a 30-year-old with no kids and no nieces <laughs> and nephews, but I love your show. You know? <laughs> That's great. Um, uh, have you ever found yourself in an Amy situation with your own, with your own baby? An Amy situation? Well, He's not a baby anymore. Oh, he's almost three. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just uh, any kind of um, uh, TV parenting experience that you found yourself in real life saying. Oh, all of it. I mean, potty training. Like, as soon as I hit hiatus, it was, you know, look, my tweets are different than the kids in the show. And it's like, okay, he made it to the potty three times a day. <laughs> Woo-hoo, ba-bam, you know. Um, so, yeah, I've gone through a lot of the same experiences. I really relate to... Mia's storylines and working with her. We work really well together. Um, and then as far as the other kids, I think it really, the reason the relationship probably has developed the way it is where I'm kind of a buddy to them and almost one of the kids at times um, is because that's kind of how it is on the set. Nice. How many hours a day can Mia work? I think she can work four hours a day, but she doesn't work the whole time. She comes just on shoot days, two days a week. Yeah. Do you have any fun holiday tradition, traditions that you do with your own family? Well, our traditions have been waking up on Christmas morning and feasting on a southern breakfast. I mean, up in the south, we, we eat grits and biscuits and gravy and eggs with rich crackers and um, country ham, bacon, you name it. Also making pecan pies and making Christmas cookies, which I used to do with my nieces. And this year, I'm going to start that with my son. And I keep saying to him, we're going to make Christmas cookies and give them to all of our friends. And he says, no, I don't want to give them to friends. <laughs> so he's not quite caught on to the true meaning of Christmas yet. <laughs> he thinks it's about getting all you can while the getting's good. <laughs> can you talk about the experience of doing the Christmas movie versus, you know, just a regular episode of Good Luck Charlie? Yeah, it was completely different. Um, one of the things that was really fun and exciting about it was being on vacation with my second family. And we all have our other families there, you know, all the parents of the kids, my husband, my baby, everybody goes together. And to have us all do these outings and like we celebrated Eric's birthday when we were there, um, it was nice to have the freedom to be in a totally different environment. And it was also nice to not have to respond to a laugh track. I'm mean, not a track, we don't use a track, but to a live audience, which I love to do. It really feeds your performance. But you could really get um, kind of lost in the reality of what was going on, as opposed to, you know, when it's cold, look, we were cold, I promise you it was freezing, <laughs> as opposed to, you know, kind of manufacturing that feeling when you're on set. And there's a sort of a, a big revelation coming out in the movie, and I was wondering if you could tease it a little bit about how that's going to affect the show. Um, well, trying to do this in a way without revealing too much. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, but let's just say the Duncan family adventure just is going to continue. And we feel really positive about that. Were you surprised? Yes. About? Have you have you planned other movies? Have I what? Right in the next year, you, have you planned another movie for Christmas? Um, not for not for next year that I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we were we were surprised as surprised as everyone else will be. <laughs> um, but, you know, that we
we were not the writers. <laughs> <laughs> we were some of the cast members. Where'd you go on location? Utah. Oh, okay. We went to uh, primarily all around Salt Lake City and then in St. George. Okay. Who knew St. George, Utah looks just like Palm Springs? Yeah. People, it does. Am I wrong? <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you go back to the show in the studio after this? Yes. I think I have about two more weeks and then go back to work. Nice. What are you looking forward to about going back? I'm kind of looking forward to getting back into the rhythm of work. Um, it's been really nice to have some time off, though, um, you know, to spend time uh, giving my child undivided attention. Um, so we'll see how it goes. You know, he's two. He's all about mommy right now. So <laughs> he may be coming to work with me more than <laughs> I normally bring him. Do you have a favorite scene or something that happens in the movie that you're looking forward to? for people to watch? Um, there's many scenes that I love, but as I was saying in the room um, previously, when I watch the movie, I don't really, um, I don't have the ability to watch it as a movie and follow the story objectively. It's not like I'm looking at performances or being critical. I'm not that kind of an actor um, because I kind of go with what I feel in the moment and that's just what it is. And if I don't like it, I shouldn't watch it kind of thing. But um, when I see the film, to me, it's like watching family footage of this time that we had on vacation together. <laughs> so, like, Bridget and I riding by, that bike, okay, all I see is the night before, it being like 2 a.m., and me sitting in the back going, let's do this, even Bridget pulls me by herself, and she's, like, riding around a parking lot at 2 a.m. with me sitting in the back of it, or all these really fun, crazy things that we did together. How was it to have parents? Amy has, we meet Amy, Amy's parents. Oh, uh, well, great. Other than the fact that I didn't get to spend a lot of time with them. Now, did I? <laughs> but I have to say, um, the woman who plays my mother, I just think Deborah is so lovely. And she reminds me a lot of my grandmother, oh, my nice. mom's mother. And my mom actually came um, to stay a week with me on the shoot as well to help take care of Griffin. And she was on the set with me, and she thought the same thing, and they were really hitting it off. It was, it was nice. It was heartwarming to have her around. I think we'll see more of them maybe next season. I certainly hope so. I would also really love to see the couple that's in the van with us. <laughs> they were hilarious. We were laughing so hard at them. I mean, you got to imagine, you know, you're stuck in this van. You can't get out. I mean, you're warned. You better pee before you get in it because we're just going to go back and forth and back and forth. And we just got loopy. It was so silly that, like, we all needed a time out, you know, to gather ourselves. That's great. Was there a favorite moment that you had with the entire cast, maybe like when you stopped filming in Utah? Well, certainly on some of our breaks, Eric's birthday party, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we go to dinner at the Grand America Hotel, which is fabulous, and their restaurant, unbelievable. They had this thing where it's a buffet appetizer, you order your own entree, and then it's a buffet dessert. <laughs> we were sick. There is not a person sitting at the table who didn't have to unbuckle their top button of their pants. <laughs> I mean, we were sick. I don't think Bridget and I ate for two days after that. We were still so full from eating. It was delicious. We just had a great time. <laughs> um, uh, when you first signed on, were you surprised that you were going to be the mother of, of two yes. teenage children? Yeah, I because to stop you right there. No, no. <laughs> absolutely. Have you adapted I thought, to that now? Because I thought Disney had been after me for a few years, and I'm like, please. At one point, I was Zac Efron's mom <laughs> in a in a pilot. I'm like, what? <laughs> I look like I'm kind of dating him, kind of not, kind of something illegal going on here. <laughs> um, but then I thought, you know what, Just I was pregnant at the time. I was like, they caught me at a weak moment, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> and I'm so glad I did because I've had more fun on this show than any of the other shows that I worked on. I think, you know, I did Will and Grace for eight years. It was a fabulous show. And I've definitely had more fun with these kids. And, you know, Eric Allen Kramer is no schlub to be acting with. He's a fantastic actor. Well, and one of the reasons that I took the job, to be quite honest, I thought, well, if Eric is doing it, you know, and they promised me that the parents will be involved, we won't just be sitting on the yeah, sidelines, yeah. then we'll do it. And the first season, yes, I had to fight a little bit and say, no, put the parents in it more. Don't you start taking us out of it. And I remember one of the producers saying, you just had a baby. We thought you'd want to just, like, come to work and relax. I'm like, I'm an actor. I'm going to work and relax. I'm going to work and work. You know, so um, that's, I think, what makes our show so special and makes it work is 
is that there is something for the whole family. There's it's for adults equally. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a sitcom that we that we don't have anymore. It's the Family Ties, the Wonder Years, the Growing Pains, the Cosby Show. It's a family sitcom. The closest thing we have to a family sitcom on network television right now is is Modern Family, which, albeit a fantastic show, is not for kids. Yeah. Well, I, I have to say, I, I caught the rerun again of um, the Duncan sisters on Shake It Up, and you carried it off flawlessly. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I was so intimidated. I was like, I'm sorry, you guys have me doing what? With <laughs> <laughs> hip hop? Okay. I was so sore the first day, I was like, I really can't walk. Oh, I can't even imagine. <laughs>